folks, we have made it here to Trails of Cold Steel 4. In real time, I'm, I'm just a day removed from finishing Cold Steel 3. So here we are. I'm excited to see what the fourth chapter will bring. I'll skip that intro because I'm sure we'll see it later on the game proper. It's I know that there's Trails into Reverie. I think it's some sort of epilogue, whatever, but this is technically the last of the Erebonian arc. The last main game, at least. The last Cold Steel. So here we go. Wow, that's Reen chained up. I did not watch any trailers for this or any previews. I think I'm good with the story so far. I'm fresh off part three. Don't have a, I don't think save carries over like Cold Steel 1 to 2. So let's go play. Let's go with normal. Oh, look. How do you do that? I don't have on my PS4 Cold Steel 1. Well, let's see what it. Yeah, I don't have Cold Steel 1 because it's from the Vita. Where did I play Cold Steel 2? Probably on the PS3, I'm guessing. Just some new material, doesn't matter. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, let's do it. That's fresh. Fresh save from part 3. Okay. Okay. Alright, some good accessories. Let's go ahead and play Cold Steel 4. I'm guessing this will start again somewhere in the future, like the past games, and then later we'll, uh, then the game will proceed to some sort of flashback until until we reach that point in the intro. And we're in the outskirts of Erebonia, the remote town of Alster. I don't think we've ever been here. I'm excited to see the graphical updates. It looks a little sharper. The, the textures. The city looks better. Catherine models a little bit. That sheep looks high res. Wow, 1080p. That's the same Catherine model we've seen a lot of times before. Maybe they added some polys. After two weeks of confusion and panic, a sense of quiet has finally settled over Heimdall. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the voices later, the volume, the mix later. Since this is the first episode, I haven't done it yet. This somber air comes after the funeral of Prince Olivert, a service unattended by his father, Emperor Eugent, who remains in a coma. So Oliver has... The Imperial Diet announced after an emergency session yesterday that the National Mobilization Law would be enacted immediately. So we've confirmed that's of Oliver. The unanimously picture. approved measure was put forth in response to a string of terrorist attacks masterminded by the Republic of Calvert. And Tovo. All and Imperial subjects are required to offer their full cooperation at the government's request. They're officially With pinning the new it. law in effect, the government has imposed rationing instated a draft and started requisitioning supplies for the army. They officially blame Calvert for what happened. Don't you have the darkness within you? You know, the darkness seeping out? I don't see it here. Yeah, conscription sucks. Racers and people from Thor's. Who's this Baldi? Mayor Mathem. That's a uh, poor hairstyle, Mayor. Wow. That's almost everyone here. It. It's a military state. Martial law. So Oliver is from here. Oh, 
there comes a darkness. Now they're getting aggressive. All right, let's fight. Violent tendencies being boosted up. I think we've met Kai before, have we? Sounds familiar. Sunny spot. It's everywhere. It's seeping out of, out of the floor, out of the walls, the whole country. Look at that loading screen. I've been playing Cold Steel 3 for so long that I'm happy to see a different loading icon over there. This is this is the port town or the, from where Muse is from, right? Or this. Military everywhere. taking over. Is that Drusilla? Okay. Her Kaffir model, I thought it's a common NPC. More troops. Is that someone important? Wait, that's Regnitz, right? Is that Marcus' dad? Is it not? Did I mistake him for someone else? If it isn't Heimdall's very own Imperial Governor, Karl Regnitz. Yeah, that's him indeed. Although he's temporarily left his beloved capital to take office as interim supervisor here in Ordis. Meaning that the Empire has finally started to move in earnest. A conscription office has just opened here. It's only a matter of time before draft cards start going out. Ordis is a pretty big city, so it's a lot of men gonna get drafted from here. No one can afford to be careless here. We Thor's graduates least of all. Indeed. What's more, with the inscrutable darkness enshrouding Heimdall, we are unable to confirm the safety of Ferris and the others. And though the Viceland army has mobilized, it would be quite unreasonable to expect them to handle everything by themselves. It seems we will need to find some allies and take action as well. Yes including those who embody the spirit of the Horned Lion. The symbol of Erebonia. Class 7. My dear gardening friend included. Of course, Class 7 will be involved again. It's up to us to save the day. But what happened to Reen Schwarzer? That's the question. Leaves. Okay, yeah, this is where the branch campus is. Where we spent a lot of time in Cold Steel 3. Is 
Is he awake by now? Kids, are these from the church? Yeah, we've seen these kids around leaves. There's a dog. We don't know any dog. Whoa, there's Becky. Jango, yeah, sorry, get confused. Yeah, she's from the store. Hey, long time no see. How you been holding up? Yeah, it's been a rough ride for sure. I just got back last night. Me and this one have been packing things up. So how how long has it been since the ending of Cold Steel 3? It's not that long from where I've seen things. She just got back. She was in Heimdall. Yep, sure am. Things are looking pretty bad. Oh, right. I got a message from Rosine for you told me to tell you she wouldn't be back for a while and said she was sorry. I don't think this is, this is the same voice actor. And I do know that a lot of characters have changed actors. Which is unfortunate, but it happens. Does it have the bratty prince? Oh, faster than I expected. Guess Meek's info was spot on. Who's Meek? I better scram before she spots me. That boy sounds familiar. I think that actor has portrayed a child character somewhere. I just can't think of at the moment. But this is from the main campus. This is not the branch campus Nerflinger, right? Or is it? Yeah, it's from the main campus. It's the Arc Royale. That's not it. So this is the branch campus. Wait, those two look familiar. But Instructor Makarov, why were we sent here so suddenly? Yeah, Makarov was from the first Cold Steel game, I think? Or was it also part two? Not in three. Who knows? But I guess we're gonna have to take part in this messed up curriculum. New instructors? Got some Panzer Soul Dots. Where's the glasses girl? There she is. <sighs> yeah. Ada, what's the name of the dude? I never thought we'd come Bricks. back here under these circumstances. Oh, Michael is here. <sighs> wow, this place is pretty nice. Who's this? I hear that one professor guy built some kind of training facility here too, yeah? Why is Shirley wearing that uniform? She's a robberist. Maybe while Princey Boy is off doing his duty, I'll have myself a little fun. Th I think that's the same actor. Sounds like her. Or her clothes anyway. Doesn't seem that different. But why is Shirley a student and why did we accept her? I guess she is with... The Chancellor could be his orders. Thors can't do anything about that. Vancouver Street. Got airships. Lots of Panzer Soldats. Lots of tanks. People cheering these war freaks on. It's a parade, a show of strength. 
build a massive one. Those are massive. Those two are massive ones. These are the smaller units. Holding such a huge military parade like this is definitely suspicious. Yeah, we know Alan. Especially considering how they put everything together so quickly. Can Panzer Soldats wave back? I'm worried about Class 7, but I've got my own mission as a soldier of the Empire. If I want to protect this country, and Bridget, I shouldn't be hesitating. Who's that taking photos? Vivi disappeared without a trace. I haven't heard a thing about Class 7. Vivi's assistant? Norton's been acting weird too. I should probably get out of Heimdall for a while. It's all because of black stuff. How can you see their faces if they're inside the machines? to families. Where is class 7? How did we escape the crawl of Erebus? Where is Reen? Why is he chained up in a tile screen? I see Rufus, the Chancellor and Cedric. Craig as well, Nightheart, Arena. Why do you all support this war? Well, Arena, I guess they can profit, but Craig, come on, do a coup d'etat. All right, General Van Dyke, former principal. It goes without saying, but a harsh, bitter struggle lies ahead of this nation. Osborne is not here. We find ourselves faced with a war, the like of which Erebonia has never seen. What's that? Okay, we still have high speed though, just check it. Get angry! But we will prove triumphant! We will bring to bear the finest strategies and the full might of the Imperial Army. I wonder who the chief strategist is. And with the Rhineford Group's cooperation, we now possess the greatest military force Zemuria has ever seen. It's Zemuria, not Zemuria. I give you my word that this conflict will be over within the year. It's August, right? So four months? That's fast. Good I come before that. you all today to announce the War Council's decision. We will punish the Republic of Calvert for their crimes and subjugate them under the might of the Empire. And you. The Brad. hour will be upon us soon. We will begin the greatest military operation in Erebonian history Operation Jormungand. So you're going to summon a giant serpent? Who can travel by punching it really, really strongly and powerful. Who's that? Jormungand, the mythical serpent that swallows the world. It's a fitting name. Way oh. too fitting, if you ask me. They finally made a model of Shara. That's Sherazard, right? It's gotta be her. After hearing about her in Cold Steel 3, now we finally have a This is Silver Streak. Yona, model. do you read me? Excellent. Nice to see you. It's been a, what? The last time we've seen her was Cold. No, no. Trails in the Sky the Third. 
That's six games ago. Holy crap. Crossbell. Believe in your heroes. Whoa, wait, why are you forgetting them? Did you forget all about the SSS? What magic, what sorcery is this? This is still Crossbell. That's the fried rice daughter. <laughs> The rest are on Zada. These are crossbow folks. That's one of the workshop girls, right? I think she made Randy's weapon when Randy wanted to be a one man army. I remember. See, I don't forget everything. Kiddos. Still in Crossbell. Yeah, we are in Crossbell. Imelda, that's the the antique store lady. this um, okay that's Lloyd's sister the nurse sister who are the others reporter right hi there good to see you again um we joined up with Sully along the way right it's Sully a long is story the new actress the one they're training in Arcan seal I remember well Ilya's going to be moved from Saint Ursula she, can she walk now? They're sending her to Armorica for physical therapy. Remember, she got really injured at the end of Trails to Azure. Is it safe for in Armorica? That's some. It's like a. Oh, things are getting worse town. by the minute. What's gonna happen to my home? And this is Heyu. Mr. Shin. Uh, like some sort of triad group? In all likelihood, the Republic will fall to the Empire. Cow. He's like their strategist. Sal, how can you... The Wait. World Serpent is slithering ever closer. Sal? Why is that spelled Zhao? If you want Zhao, then put Z-H-A-O. Why will you spell Zhao that way if it looks like cow? You should leave this place and go to Remetheria for your own safety. I'm gonna call him Cow. I'm sorry. That's the way he's spelled. I'm gonna read it like that. I've already cleared it with the Elder. No. There's no way I'm leaving Ellie behind. We're Heiyue, aren't we? There must be something we can do. Heiyue. Okay, I can go with that hey you is doesn't sound right you know I've it's been weird saying it hey you a okay I'll do that from now on pardon me but Zhao with that spelling no way hey there mr. white orchid dragon guess I'm calling a bit late huh that's the guy from the Imperial Army's intelligence division mm. oh it's quite all right scarecrow now what's this about 
The business we discussed before? Or perhaps the other matter? Nah, the other thing's already being handled. Don't worry about it. I'm calling about our little business arrangement. I want to get everything settled before the Governor General gets back. That's her busy, still. <laughs> Very well. Let's discuss the terms. So, so far this opening intro is one big... So, you still haven't been able to find Teo? This is the kid, uh, Jonah. Sorry, nothing yet, I'm afraid. So she's he's talking to Cheryl. None of my contacts have any clues either. But don't worry, I'm going to extend my search outside Heimdall. Give me some more time and I'm sure I'll turn something up. Is that Michelle Ruff? Who, who said I was worried? I'm sure Randolph's with her after all. But then again, the debaucherous prince got himself blown up over there, so I guess anything can happen. <sighs> no! Yeah. I'm sorry. That's her friend. Can I have said that? They're buddies. I mean, uh, uh, don't lose hope. <laughs> Thanks. Like I mentioned before, Governor General Rufus is currently in Heimdall. We might not get another chance like this. Help those kids make the most of it. <laughs> well, duh. You don't need to tell me twice. Aww. Man, what a train wreck of a call. I don't know how to deal with stuff like that. You gotta grow up. Anyway, so she's that idiot prince's girlfriend, huh? Complete opposite of him, but I guess they're a good match. Or they were. I don't remember them having that kind of relationship. It's them! Yona, we're almost at the destination. You better be ready to back us up. <laughs> Who do you think I am? It's Yona, not Jonah? Wait. Wasn't this spelled with an H in the Geofront localization? Am I remembering it wrong? Anyway, here's Sherazard. Is that your whip weapon? Shara, take this. If anything should happen to me, you can use it to contact the others. This is from Oliver. She, that's him speaking. Okay, so <laughs> she saw it happen. Estelle, Joshua, and Ren, it's all up to you now. Why, what are you doing? Come on. This model will not just be using the intro. You're, you're gonna be joining the party, right? Like again. And we got the chapter screen, the title screen of the chapter, a nightfall. Are you still going? Orcus Tower. Are we in the Geofront? That looks like the Geofront. Oh, here we go. We're starting things off with... That's Estelle. We got Lloyd Banning's Estelle. Joshua. Is that the blonde lady? That can't be Ren. No, Ren is the other lady. There's a bland, blonde one. Is it Kia? Oh, so. We managed to make it this far. Onward and upward. Is that Estelle talking? Estelle Bright. I'm not sure with that voice, but... Okay. Joshua Bright. Yeah! But seriously, we really appreciate your guys' help given everything that's going on right now. Yeah, I expected more of a, I don't know, a youthful voice giving her spunk in the Sky Games. But let's give it a chance. Especially you, Lloyd. You're still on the wanted list, aren't you? Lloyd Bannings. His only appearance in Cold Steel 3 was a fist bump from afar. Look at Ellie. They've been missing in action all game long in the last one. Yeah. But Arios, Rishia, and Noel caused enough of a distraction to take some of the heat off my back. We're glad to help. 
But we're the ones who should be thanking you. It's encouraging to have you here with us. There's Red. What's her title? Is it she's Enforcer 6? And yeah, it is Kia. That's right. <sighs> I still can't believe you brought the little girl with you. <laughs> I missed you too, Ren! Yeah, they got in close. She's just as overwhelmingly adorable as ever. Hey, Kia, can I give you a little squeeze? Please. <laughs> Not if I give you one first. Squeeze. Oh, I'm being crushed by cuteness, obliterated by adorableness. <sighs> You're shameless, you know that? Estelle, please control yourself. Don't forget that we're here to gather intel on what happened in Heimdall. Okay, just remember, though, right. Estelle and Joshua are not real siblings. They're not blood-related. That's why the game likes to ship them. First, we couldn't get a hold of Tita. And now, it seems like the whole continent is headed for war. And we're here to save the day, right, and then Lloyd? Olivier and Toval. Yeah. Mm. We owed Prince Oliver a lot. He was always going out of his way to help us. I still can't believe it. We haven't been able to reach Tio, Randy, or Yuna either. Hmm. Hey, Ren. You found out something important during those orbital network tests in Liberal, right? Yes. It was during the wireless connection trials we were running. The project was a collaboration among Liberal's CCF, the Epstein Foundation's Crossbell branch, and Arabonia's Reinford Company. Nothing from the Brink Company, though. Two weeks ago, a significant volume of data was uploaded from Heimdall. It's probably heavily encrypted, but I'm sure it holds some clues as to what happened there. I traced the data transfer, and it was sent to the core terminal of this tower. The Thaumaturgical Sector. It was created as part of the ritual for the Azure Zero Project, right? Right. After the annexation, though, the Governor General had it sealed off. I don't remember that at all. Probably sorry. because the only ones who can operate it are the Alchemist of the Kreuz family. But somehow, it seems like someone's using it now. Will this be our first dungeon? Well, we can figure that out later. Right now, we gotta focus on what we came here for. We need to find out what happened in Heimdall that day, and what they're planning now. Whatever right, it Estelle. is. It must have something to do with what's going on behind the scenes in Erebonia. We can't even start putting together a plan to help until we have a clear picture of what that is. We're counting on you, Estelle. You as well, Joshua and Ren. Yeah, we'll be counting on you too. We're gonna do our best! Are we splitting into two parties here, or what? <laughs> Maybe I'll finally get to have some real fun here. But Ren is a scary kid. She's been through a lot. Her backstory is messed up. See that in Sky the Third. All right, twentieth floor, because the tower is a dungeon crawling place. Yeah, we can figure that out later. Okay, yeah. Uh, I want Ellie. I know you're a main cut after, but I want the Reaper to be with us. Okay. Oh wait, the camera is not correct. I want. Wait, it's correct. I put it earlier, but. Wait, converted to you as normal? What's going on? See, they considered normal as the inverted one. What a crazy yeah. game. Okay. I know I don't record dungeon crawling sequences, but I gotta see the battle system. See what changes they have. Let's. That's the no. one battle before. Prime him up! Alright. Let's go. Core low. Whoa. There's your dungeon. So, this is the result of the Kreuz family's obsession. At a glance, it doesn't seem like it's in full operation. Yeah. When I infiltrated this place two years ago, it was glowing with an eerie energy. That's right. Back then, it was draining mana from all of Crossbell. Hmm. It might not be at full power, but it's definitely been turned on. Something's coming. Be careful, everyone! 
This is the first <gasps> time we have 3D models of all of these characters. See that? Okay, these are Golems! Tutorial Guess fight. we found a couple of the alchemist little toys. Let's do it. Ready your Arcus 2s for battle. Let's link up and destroy the targets. Right. We should try out Brave Orders while we're at it. Kia, stand back. Okay. I'm still gonna help from the sidelines, though. So she's not an active party member. Sorry, Let's Ellie. get started. Wait. They put Ellie back. Yeah, yeah. We know all of that. Okay. Yeah. We're linked up with, of course, we're going to the cell. Yeah, yeah, I know. And there's no way to, to get both of you, right? Look at our so let's, let's go ahead. Twin Shadow Let's do Let's go! Yeah, now that's what I'm doing. No critical. Leave though. it to me. Okay, Ellie, your turn. Here I Ooh. go. Take this. Here's a big boost of limited PP. We're at five, but it's not yet full. Right. Hurricane. I remember spinning attack. Huh. Classic Take spell. This. Hurricane. Always cool. Moving out. Okay, we just attack this. Yeah, we know that. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> How dare you! Moving out! Oh, Joshua is fast. I forgot right. about that. Yeah. Right. Okay. See it once. Yes. See it. Head up. Well, we got it. Moving that, out. Joshua. There's okay. more of them. Ooh, there's another fight. I've got this! Okay, I'm not gonna swap Joshua out. So we're gonna swap everyone. Got a broken enemy. Let's go! Dead enemy. Yeah, yes! Let's, okay, try swapping with Ren. Take my place! If you insist. Death Lady herself. Dance for me. There you go. Wait, where's the problem? Wide open! open. Victory. Oh, you held your own quite nicely. Nah, I still got a lot left to learn. Doesn't seem like there's any big changes to the battle system. They increased the BP limit. So far, <laughs> those familiar. things were pretty strong for being a bunch of walking rocks. Right. And I'm sure we can expect even stronger foes from this point on. Man, you two really are something. I can certainly see why you're both in line for a promotion to A rank. Aw, oh, thanks. Shara and Agate can still run circles around us, though. Don't know about that. And compared to the Divine Blade of Wind, we're practically amateurs. Enough with the false modesty, you two. We know what you're capable of. No kidding. Yeah. And your skills with that scythe are no joke either, Ren. Yeah, you're super cool. <laughs> you're making me blush. To be honest, though, I feel like I've gotten pretty rusty since my days as an enforcer. True. Right. She does used to be with Ouroboros. He does have a crazy... Sammy-like. And you as well. Isn't that right, Joshua? Mater Pater, but is Mater Pater still around? Or yeah, is he dead? back I then I was known as Enforcer Number 13, the Black Fang. I was Enforcer Number 15, the Angel of Slaughter. It's embarrassing to think I actually used to go by that title, though. I thought though. she was six. She's actually 15. Okay, Angel of Slaughter it is. <laughs> Well, I'm just glad we're on the same side now. I'll do my best to keep up with all of you. Glad to yeah, have you we, along with us. You're the weak link here, unfortunately. You too, Kia. That order you used earlier was straight up amazing. I did not use it. No prob. I've got your back. According to the data Yona managed to grab, the central terminal is on the top floor of this area. That's where we'll find the intel we're looking for. Got it. It's been two years since the SSS and Bracer Guild collaborated on a mission, but now we're back in action. Yeah, and Trey's from zero. That's the last time we've seen this still in Joshua. We've got quite a climb ahead of us, so let's get moving. Right. Where's Kevin? Ready, everyone? Go, go, go! 
Let's begin. All right, now that's gonna do it for the first episode of Cold Steel 4. Whoa! It's time for dungeon this crawling. This is just enormous. How high up does the ceiling even go? It's gonna be pretty hmm. high up. If I had to guess, maybe a hundred arch? So I'll see you guys. From what I've seen of the Kreuz family schematics, that's exactly correct. At the top of this tower, next time, in Trails of Cold Steel 4. Huh. Yeah.